All right, here we have a 73 Volkswagen Carmen Ghia uh, convertible. And uh, the story in this car is it's been in the family for quite a long time. It's gone through several hands. Um, several family members have driven this car in college. And uh, last we we knew of this car from, from the family's uh, memory is that um, it had been bought from an uncle and uh, sold back to the uncle later on or given back to him. And then it sat under a heavy tarp for about the last 15 or 20 years, I guess. So they're wanting to restore the thing, uh, do a mild restoration on it, really. Um, but it's, it needs a lot of work. It's got a lot of dents and dings. Um, obviously, the convertible top is no good. But I'll just do a walk around of it so you can see what we're, what we're starting with. And uh, we'll go from there. Now, it's already had the floor pans replaced uh, by a place that not, does work on Volkswagens, but they don't do paint and body work. So you can see like the uh, trim panels in here cracked out. Uh, obviously door panels are going to need to be replaced at some point. Uh, original seats. You can see the interior in there. Top is really in bad shape, but uh, that, that's something that can be replaced. This car is relatively solid from what we can see. You know it's been repainted at least once. Um, obviously it's had some interaction with some something hard looks like a pole or something it's hard to say the bumpers out of shape slightly pushed back um, the car these cars there's not much to them that, that hood right there or uh, I guess you could call it the trunk lid in this case very little reinforcement but it's in excellent shape so that'll be a good good panel to work with um, the gas tank was replaced by that other shop and this car apparently had air conditioning added at some point and then removed. So we're gonna have to patch up some holes. And this is typical of Volkswagens. Looks like a squirrel's nest in there with all the wiring. That's one crazy thing about these, um, all the VW stuff that they have these, this, this crazy wiring harness. But that is the back side of the dash. And you can see the radio and the gauges. So pretty good uh, in that part uh, as far as the interior uh, panels are all solid other than the holes like I said come around the front here um, it's gonna need lights and lenses normal things missing some trim on the side apparently it had a double bar uh, trim on it mirrors missing of course all the glass and everything will come back come out of it to get get worked on um, with this color in, in, the, in the light, it's hard to see. There's a, there are a lot of dents and dings in this car, and there's some rust, you know, surface rust for the most part. But there's also some bubbling here and there that we'll have to deal with. See stuff like that, and then uh, The work's been done to it uh, at the other shop. They, it looks like they put a brand new carburetor on it. Probably redid some wiring. Maybe a tune-up. I don't know. There's plug wires don't look like they've been replaced. But uh, everything's there that needs to be there. So these are kind of unique cars, and they don't appeal to everybody. Um, but they are neat, and they look pretty good when they're all fixed up and restored, and, and have a good paint job and nice wheels. So hopefully we can get this car back on the road, make it, make it look good for this family, and then they can continue to enjoy it.